Hey guys, it's Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be going over how to determine the number of total, angular, and radial nodes. We'll first go over the rules, and then we'll apply the rules and take a look at a couple examples together. So the total number of nodes is going to equal the energy level minus one. The number of angular nodes, also called planar nodes, will always be fixed. And you can re remember that by writing S, P, D, F, 0, 1, 2, 3. So S will always have 0 planar nodes or angular nodes, P will always have 1, D will have 2, and F will always have 3. And then the remaining number of nodes will be the number of radio, also called spherical nodes. Now let's take a look at a couple examples together. We have 4S. Uh, well, let's start by determining the number, the total number of nodes. So the energy level here is 4. 4 minus 1 will be 3, so the total number would be 3. Then the number of angular nodes, we just took take a look at the subshell, it's S and S will have zero angular nodes, so that means the number of radio nodes would have to be three, because zero, three minus zero, it's three. And now seven F, the total number of nodes would be seven minus one, so that would be six. The number of angular nodes, F will always have three angular nodes, so then the number of radio nodes would have to be three, because three plus three has, is equal to six. And six D, the total number of nodes would be six minus one, which would be five. D always has two angular nodes, so that means radio must be, there must be three radial nodes. And then lastly, 3P, the total number of nodes would be three minus one, which is two. P has one angular nodes, that means it's gonna have one radial nodes. Let's just take a look at one last example. Let's say we were looking at a uh, 9S. The total would be nine minus one, eight, the number of anglers, S has zero anglers, so that means all eight of those nodes are radial nodes. And that's that's really it. That's how you can calculate the total the, uh, angler and then the number of radial nodes is by remembering these rules. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.